Okay, so, so Lonya, I'm very interested in your initiative. Uh, now you call it Solar Turtle. Did you start it? What, who's, how did this come about and what's, what's this turtle business? Yes, um, we call ourselves the Solar Turtle simply because we sell security. You know how um, the turtle is in the animal? in the evenings and um, before um, when the sun goes down, they go into themselves, they hibernate, and you only see the shell. Now, with our solar um, business, it's in a shipping container that has all these solar panels that open up during the day, and in the evening they fold in within themselves and they lock inside. Mm -hmm. Hence the security feature, then they don't feel threatened by the environment. They don't feel threatened by what is happening on the outside. Well, what, what are we securing exactly? We're securing, um, <laughs> we are securing the, the, the solar panels oh. from, the, from the thieves, so to speak, because we've got a great, um, a, a lot of people have been, who have solar panels have been vandalized oh, and um, they have been stolen. What we're doing here is um, we are trying to combat that. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, the solar business is out there, everybody else is doing it, and everybody's going into the renewable space. Mm -hmm. So we are different in the sense that not only are we selling clean and safe electricity, we are also selling the, the safety element. Mm -hmm. But no, uh, that's fine, and Danny, I'm sorry, I'm not really a, a businessman, capitalist, whatever they're calling themselves these days. Yes. But what, what I'm fascinated with is this is an initiative you're trying to really uh, deal with women. Mm. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about well, how did that start, why, why, why that thought? All right, my mentor and the, the person who actually uh, designed and came up with this concept of, uh, of bottling electricity, I'm going to explain a bit about that. James Van der Waals, based in Selenbosch, which where he did his um, research and came up with this product, was looking for a company that was also going to not only make a profit, but also benefit the, the communities. So he met up with me and we both share the, the vision and the passion of empowering rural women specifically. Mm. You were at Stellenbosch, how did you, how did you meet him? We, we, we met through, he came, okay. James had been working with uh, David Mfaebe of Zofimfaba through the de uh, Department of Science and Technology. Okay. We just met some uh, so Miller just now. They are the ones who are like funding this project through your Sanedis and through your, your TIA initiatives. They felt that you know our community was more deserving, hence um, because we have a school that has an intake of about 4,000 um, students, mm. starting from grade 10 to grade 12. And this village is so uh, lacking in basic services. Where is this village at? It's in Elliotdale, in the Transguy, former Transguy in the Eastern Cape. Mm. Just close to the Coffee Bay and the hole in the wall mm. oceans. So what has happened is that we found ourselves lacking in the basic services. We don't have electricity, water, or sanitation, or decent roads. And they felt that you know there was a greater need than in the in the village in Kofenvaba. James then came out looking for entrepreneurs, specifically women. And this is how we we we, we met up. I happened to be at home, and I was. Uh, going on doing my day-to-day -day business, minding my own community uh, businesses. And I decided to part partner with him simply because it speaks to me, it speaks to the community, it was beneficiary for the community. This was a solution that was going to electrify our village in a very unconventional way using the, the alternative power that is there. Now the solar turtle is based inside a school. What happens your typical morning is you, you come in, you open the shop, of which today it employs about three uh, permanent people and two to three temporary staff that will do the household installments. They are trained techni technically um, by our company, by ourselves. They can assemble the product that we are selling in-house and they can also um, teach other people. So we also transfer skills to women. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't have any 
I would say tertiary background. They passed their metric, they were sitting at home, and it has created a, a platform for them. Now they are earning an income, a decent income, they can support their families, they can support themselves. They can now start thinking about doing other things. It has opened up different avenues for them as well. So it sounds like you're saying there that you, you've electrified the community on a bunch of different levels. Mm. Uh, you've yes. excited them so that they... Yes. Oh, okay. This is the energy that we're talking about, the energy that lies within the people. Because, I mean, we wouldn't be talking about um, renewable energy, we wouldn't be talking about hydro, we wouldn't be talking about gas, all those integrated energies, if it was not for the person that we're doing it for. Why are we here? Why, what are, why are we doing all of this? It goes back to the fact that, you know, energy is all about the person, it's all about the people, it's all about the villages, it's about the communities. So we must always keep that in mind as well. Well, talk about the village. I mean, how do you talk to the folks? I mean, uh, it sounds to me, about, I don't know, but it sounds like you, you have a lot of, uh, you have to use a lot of um, fancy, you know, big kind of words, but how do you break it down? How do you say this is this? I mean, uh, do you use a lot of technological terms involved or not, or how, how do you reach the people? There are no technical um, language that we, are, that we are using when we're speaking to uh, our people. Like myself, I don't have a background in, in, in energy. I don't have a background in anything that is engineering or technical. I'm purely a business person. And for me to understand this concept, it is because it was simplified from the very beginning. Electricity is electricity. What kind of electricity and how much are you going to put out, uh, out there? Now, what, what we're running is a charging station. We have plus minus about 12, 300 watt solar panels. That would translate into at least 3.6 kilowatts, of which when it is all um, compressed and it has been collected and put inside now the container, will give you an output of about, let's say, 5 kilowatts. Translating into lay people's language to us being able to electrify at least about 300 households including the school or a clinic if we had one. Mm -hmm. Now, w what would happen is that typically a child will come with their cell phones because it doesn't matter whether you go to the desert, you go to a village that doesn't have electricity at all. You will still find somebody with a cell phone. Mm -hmm. They bought the cell phone, but they don't know where they're going to charge it. Now they're going, not going to hop into a taxi and spend about 60 rands, only to go and charge a phone. We need to bring the services closer to the children. So this has helped them in the sense that now they can drop off their phones at school before they get into the classroom, and they will pick it up later, and we will charge a, a fee for that. For, for, for the service that we are providing. We also sell electricity in a bottle. How does this work? We have this bottle that is um, battery operated. It will give you electricity enough for at least three to four days or let's say give or take 20 hours without interruption. Depending on how you want to use it, you can either use it to light your, your household, thereby you don't have to be buying the candle anymore, or using kerosene, which is a health hazard to yourself. And also, you can also now charge your phone, you can play the music as a student, and this bottle will, it's a basic cost of 150, it's a once off. And then you just have to keep recharging it, like any other battery. Batteries, eventually, they do run down. And you have to keep bringing it back to our station. We will recharge it for you, and then you take it home. It's mobile electricity in a bottle. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we're an off-grid business that empowers women in rural villages, providing electricity for, for the women. Mm -hmm. So how does, how does it look now? What's, uh, um have you grown in such a pace that you can m sort of monitor what's going on? Are you, have you see, are, you, are you getting excited about this? It is very exciting because, I mean, we live in a fast and changing world and every now and again we have to stop and disrupt our services so that we keep up to pace by taking stock and taking charge what is it that the people need, how can we also introduce other products to, to, um, to our fold. Like I said, that we started off as a charging station, but now we are also an internet cafe. We've added on photocopiers, we've added on printers, we've added on internet. 
whereby a student who wants to do research, we can look it up, print it out for them, make photos that copies, distribute it amongst the study groups, since you know we don't have enough space for them to come and sit down and do their own research. So we are, we are expanding, and depending on what also the, the kids want or what the community want as well on that demand, we try to, to, um, to come closer to them as well. Okay, well, thank you so much for, for, for this time. Is there anything else you want to uh, uh, tell us about you, about the initiative or anything that's important that, that you should, you want to share? Yes, um, not only are we a social business, we also have opportunities for women who want to start up their own businesses. They can contact us by visiting our website, which is um, www.solarturtle.co.za. Go into our Facebook page and see the initiatives that we have embarked on. See how you can also um, play a role, because we are an open business. We will train you for free, we will train your staff, we will also um, give you technical support, and we are looking for corporates as well who are looking at um, giving back to communities. They can and get one of these solar turtles donated to a community or to a school, power the schools that don't have electricity. We still have schools that are um, built, you know, using the mud, um, mud system. We have, uh, we still have schools that are built using, you know, like um, corrugated iron or like a shack, your shacks. Now, we would like to partner with you and identify the areas of needs mm -hmm. within South Africa, in all the provinces, there is somebody out there who is looking for an opportunity to start their own business, or who is looking for an opportunity to, to become, you know, to, to get a break and to become the next best total uh, um, entrepreneur. Mm. So your website again is www.s as in Sam, O, L, A, R, T, U, R, T L E That's correct. dot C O dot Z A or as we say in the West Z A. Okay, great. Yes. Now, can people contact you directly? Should I give the your your, your Gmail or your or their or well, let's give uh, uh, is, is Lung, uh, your name was um, L U N G E L W A at SolarTurtle.co.za, dot Is that yes? That's my that's that's my email address. You can get hold of me on. Um, also on my mobile number, which is plus two seven seven two three two one nine zero seven zero. Hey, that's a good number. How'd you get that good number? Whoa, zero seven two three two one nine zero seven zero. I like that number. It's a good number. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Mm. Thank you, Anthony.